Hey everyone, my name is Sherelle and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share a brief yoga sequence with those of us that are dealing with sore muscles. So there are many reasons that we deal with sore muscles. It could be that you just overdid it in the gym. It could be due to stress. It could be due to a number of different things. But if you find that you're dealing with soreness a little longer than normal, these yoga stretches are going to help you to just bring some relief to your sore muscles. So if you're ready to get started, grab your mat and let's get into it. So we are going to start in a standing position, coming to the top of the mat, rooting down through our feet, which are parallel. Extend the chin forward and relax your shoulders down the back of your body. Bringing the hands to prayer, taking a moment to center and ground ourselves using the power of our breath. When you're dealing with any discomfort in your body, even if it's sore muscles, it can bring up an array of emotions and feelings. Feelings of less than, feeling that you're not capable. And we want to release those feelings that may have come up as we are dealing with soreness in the body. As you stand strong in your mountain pose, even in the midst of soreness, we are able to find that sense of gratitude and peace through the breath and the breath connecting us to God our Father. Begin to interlace your fingers, opening up your eyes, inhale, extend your arms up, lift your chin. A beautiful, gentle opening in the front of your back. Exhale. Use your hand to draw a line down the midline of the body as you bend your knees, coming to a gentle forward bend. Begin to relax your arms, your head, the back of your neck. Notice in this position where you may feel soreness, maybe a little bit more pronounced, and just send your breath to those areas, being intentional. In this pose, we simply embrace ragdoll pose, allowing the top half of our body to simply hang, allowing gravity to do the rest of the work. From here, begin to move your head a little side to side, forward and back. Soften up through your knees as you gently stretch the backs of your legs. Begin to bring your hands to your calves. And begin to slowly encourage yourself to fold forward a little bit more. Not deeper, but just maybe a little bit more. Hands to the legs for support. Inhale, slide the hands to the shins. Coming up to flat back, gazing down at your toes. And exhale, release, returning to forward bend. Feels so good to just relax and let go. Once again, this is a nice gentle stretch with the focus being on the breath and just stretching, gently stretching the muscles in our body. From here, begin to make a box around your head, grabbing a hold of your opposite elbows. Allow your head to hang heavy and envision stress and tension just dripping off of your body. Four folds are great for soothing and calming the mind. And with this pose, we explore a gentle inversion, bringing the head below the heart. And just soaking in all of the goodness of this pose.
As you exhale, release your arms down. Bend into both of your knees as you bring your fingertips down and bring one knee down to the mat. We come to tabletop. With your fingers spread wide, let's take a few cat-cow curls. Inhale as you arch. Exhale as you curl inward and round. Take your time with these cat-cow curls and begin to just notice as you breathe where the soreness is located in your body. And as you move, notice how the movements and the breath may be working out certain parts of your body, bringing a sense of softness. Two more rounds of cat cow. Inhaling as you gently soften your belly with a gentle arch and exhale as you curl in and round. Now begin to take your knees apart, bring your toes behind you to touch begin to lower down into your version of child's pose. Allow yourself to just linger in these different stretches without trying to move so quickly. As you breathe, allow it to attune and strengthen your mind-body connection. As you notice the soreness, you also notice areas that may feel less sore. And on your next inhaling breath, begin to rise up, coming through tabletop. Moving your hands forward, come to rest all the way down on your belly. And starting with the right leg, bend your left elbow so you have it right in front of you for support. As you bend your right knee, begin to look back <laughs> and then reach back using your strap or your hand to grab a hold of your ankle gently stretching the quad you can look down at your forearm or you can just rest your forehead all the way down on the mat or your forearm and breathe taking slow inhaling breaths and even slower exhaling breaths Continue to keep your knees side by side. Try not to splay that left knee out to the side in order to lift the foot any higher. And then slowly release your foot as we move to the other side. I wanna give another option on this side. If, it's, if you bend your left knee and you really can't reach, 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 just go ahead and roll onto your right hip. And sometimes it's easier to grab the foot and then roll back onto the belly. So if that works for you, try that. And let's begin to stretch the left side. Breathing nice and easy. And once you grab a hold of your ankle. Don't try to pull it any further. Just hold it. Stabilizing yourself in this stretch. And bring your focus attention to your breathing.
and begin to slowly release your leg or your foot. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, press up through hands and knees, and begin to walk your hands back and we come to kneeling position. As you gaze forward, begin to step your right foot forward and bring your fingertips down to the mat or if you have blocks, feel free to use blocks here. Let's really begin to get into the hips a little bit. And so we stretch the tops of our legs, our quads, and now we wanna to begin to get into the psoas muscles, the legs, even stretching the top of your back foot. And so we linger here a moment in our low lunge. Just kind of stretching the body. You can move your, your shoulders a little bit. That feels good. And we're going to move the right foot off to the side of the mat, coming to lizard pose. Both hands in the center. Breathe in nice and easy. Feel free to let your knees splay out to the side if that feels okay. If not, don't do it. <laughs> you know my motto, don't try to be anybody other than who you are in this moment. So if your body is not ready for that, don't do it. From our lizard pose, begin to tuck your toes on your back foot. And begin to walk your hands back as you straighten your front leg. Begin to flex your front foot and walk your hands over to the left side. So this is a variation of our half split. Really getting into the backs of the legs now, the hamstrings. And so we don't have to fold over that front leg. We simply move the body over to the left. You can look over at your foot as you straighten your right leg and then slowly walk your hands forward bending to your front knee and begin to move your foot off the mat scooping it back as you walk your hands back and we return to kneeling position with the hands circling the waist inhale gazing forward exhale release with that focus awareness, inhale as you step your left foot forward, bringing your fingertips down to the mat, making sure your front knee is over your front ankle. And just kind of relax the hips, let them settle as you move a little bit. Sometimes we focus so much on um, maintaining a perfect posture and perfection sometimes equates to being still in the pose but yoga can be very dynamic so if it feels good to just move a little bit that's okay begin to walk your front foot off to the side turning your big toes to face the corner edge of the mat moving into lizard pose maybe roll onto the outer edge of your front foot allowing your knee to splay to the side or maybe not Really breathe. Just feel yourself really getting in tune with your body without exploring a whole lot of poses. You know, sometimes when we flow, we do just a lot of different poses. Well, this is pretty much it. <laughs> we want to really gain the benefit from one pose at a time and just linger there and from here begin to walk your both of your hands off to the right side begin to slowly straighten your front leg flex your foot and begin to just gently stretch feeling the stretch in the back of your leg To 
So you're really anchoring through your front heel. Once you feel the stretch, just stay there. You don't have to move and try to get deeper and deeper. Sometimes it helps to just allow our body time to process and get used to what this feels like, especially if it's new. And just breathe. As you inhale, let's return to the front of the mat with our hands. Continue to move your front foot off to the side, scooping it back, returning to tabletop position. And from here, we'll begin to stretch the arms and the shoulders with thread the needle, extending your right arm out. Exhale, begin to slowly bring it underneath your left arm, coming down to the side of your head. Maybe slowly walk, walk, walk your left fingers forward and breathe. Slow, deep inhaling and exhaling breaths. Not necessarily trying to work the body. This is not a strength building flow, but really begin to work out some of the soreness with gentle stretches and slow, deep breathing. And begin to walk, walk, walk your hands back. Using your left supporting hand, press up. And we begin to move to the left side, extending your left arm out. Begin to slowly bring it underneath, coming down to the side of your head on the other side. You can keep your right elbow bent or you can extend and walk your fingertips forward. This feels so good in my upper back. And I love just kind of lingering in these poses. It allows you to just not have to do more, much more than just breathe. Begin to push yourself up, pressing down through your right hand, slowly rise up, guiding your knees together. We return to a comfortable seated position. Come into easy pose, crossing your legs in front of you. Inhale, sweeping your arms up. And exhale, let's take a nice soothing twist, twisting to the left, right hand on your left knee. Twisting your entire torso, maybe working out any kinks or tightness. And gently opening the side of the body. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, begin to slowly lean to your right side as you press your left knee away from you. feels so good to just breathe and let go. And then slowly return to an upright position, sweeping the arms all the way back up. Inhale through the center, palms meet overhead. Exhale, twist to your right. Bring your left hand to your right knee. Right arm goes right behind your hip, lengthening through your spine as you gently twist. Just enjoy the subtleness of your breath without any effort, allowing it to flow in and out. Inhale, gaze forward with a smile. Extend your arm up, exhale, lean to the left as you press your right knee down. You can look up right underneath your arm or you can look down at the mat, whatever feels good. 
Inhale, slowly make your way back through center, relaxing both arms down by your side. Sitting up nice and tall, place both hands over your heart. Take a moment to notice what has shifted or what may have changed with the condition of your body, but also your mind. And with this new awareness, begin to open up your eyes, sweeping your arms up in a circle of joy. Palms touch overhead and exhale, bring it down to your heart. I hope that you all enjoy this uh, brief sequence to help you find some relief with soreness in your body. If this was beneficial for you, make sure you share, like, and subscribe. Feel free to also leave a nice comment and check out more videos just like this that can help you deal with flare-ups and chronic pain. You all know my story. I have osteoarthritis and some other health issues as well. Uh, just because I'm in the wellness field does not mean that my life is perfect by any means. I am just like you. And so I'm bringing these different holistic modalities to you in an effort to share my story with you. All right. So remember, when life gets tough, all you got to do is breathe in and stress out. God bless.